Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, we are witnessing FIFA history with these insane packs and SBC content that is dropping right now as a part of the Black Friday promo. Road to the World Cup player items. We've got the World Cup icons, the insane flashback Messi SBC, and the biggest pack ever to ever grace FIFA Ultimate Team in the history of this game. A 100 player pack in the store just dropped a little bit ago and it's the biggest scam of a pack I've ever seen as well. So we're gonna take a look and talk through the insane content that it's continuing to drop by the way. The SBCs are still going. We're gonna have another flash SBC here in a couple of minutes as I'm recording this video. There's a lot moving on the market. There's a lot of prices that are down, but there's also some surprises because of how insane the content was. It was even more insane than we expected fodder prices have gone up and a lot of those players have gone up in value. So I want to break that down in today's video and talk you guys through what to look forward to today on a Saturday as well as the Black Friday content will slow down a little bit, but there's still a lot of packs that could keep dropping and keep coming out. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's deep dive right into by starting the store. Let's start with the store, right? All of the packs. This is something that we know Black Friday is always about. And this is where the biggest history is being made right now inside this game. It's all the Black Friday packs. Of course, you know, we've got the 10 coin packs that EA keeps dropping. Those are nice. I'll open that here in a second. But this is the pack that dropped just a little bit ago that everybody's talking about because it's just crazy, right? 100 rare gold players and the player picks inside of it for the World Cup players, all items untradeable, 3,000 FIFA points, 250,000 coins, which of course, if you're buying with FIFA points, EA makes you think, hey, instead of getting um, 24 players for 2,000 FIFA points, I'm getting 100 for 3,000. Seems like a deal, right? Well, you look in the percentages, you see that it looks like a deal as well. You can pack the Team of the Week players, you can pack the Road to the World Cup players, even the World Cup icon players, as EA have said, and as we experienced on the stream yesterday, actually show up in the game as like promo cards. So they are packable and that's why it shows a percentage here. 15% for a Road to World Cup player. If you compare that to a normal 100K pack, 3.6%, but I'm telling you guys, I just watched one of my mods open one of these in person. Highest rated car was 87 Trent, not good, right? And of course, some people are gonna get insane stuff from these, but also more times than not, it's not gonna be good. So opening with coins is a definite no-no. And that goes for all of the store packs, except for the token pack. Now I opened that one, I think it's 75,000 coins. If you're really gonna go after the tokens, or the swaps program, maybe you go after that one, but I'd be very, very careful what you open with coins because it's gonna just drain your coin value. And since right now there is so much content that is out there, um, I know I just opened a pack, 10 coins worth. That's not that big, right? 10 coins versus 75,000 not that big of a difference, but be very, very careful. And I say this all the time. It is not smart to open packs in the store with coins, unless maybe it's one of those um, foundations packs that gives a swap token. And even then sometimes it's just worth it, depending on how many coins you have to put on the FIFA points. So I, I be very careful with that sort of stuff because right now, everything related to this game content wise is coin drain like to the insane level right we had the 89 world cup hero upgrade refreshed again yesterday high rated fodder went to the moon we talked about that on stream benzema went from like 55 53k all the way to 64k you know all of your fodder is going up because ea keeps releasing insane player picks like this mixed campaign bag player pick that includes path to glory players in it right and it's not that expensive but it's the 84s that are going up the most because you have some of these 83 and 84 rated squads in here you've got the 80 five plus upgrade that you can do five times basically uh one five times per two days and it's going to refresh this mixed campaign player pick is going to refresh as well and if you go through the live tab the number of upgrade sbcs the 81 plus double right you had an 83 plus player pick that was out at one point an 84 plus upgrade that's still there you know it's just it's unbelievable the amount of sbc content that is there and the reason why ea put all that out is because they're releasing all the insane packs in the store, but if you're not opening a ton of packs, it's gonna drain the coins out of your club really, really quickly. And that's why I think you're seeing some of the prices on the market not bounce back as much as we thought that we maybe would. Now, let's talk about the new cards that are on the game. Road to the World Cup player items. They, of course, were released yesterday as well. And EA made a post about this, and I'm gonna show it from their website just to confirm with you. I tweeted this out yesterday as well. But these are not live cards. I know it's very confusing uh, because we just headed out of a live card promo and we thought that these might be live, but it is not true. They are not live cards. It's basically players that played well 
in their country's run of form up into their World Cup appearance, right? That's all that these are. They are one-time promo boost cards. And as I believe right now, Footbin does not have them loaded into a squad. Actually, it's just, just that's, that's false. There it is. Road to the World Cup players. These guys are crazily rare on the high tier. Mbappe today is one of the most rare cards in the game right now. He has five and a half million coins after in the first hour of today by the way these cards dropped in packs early ea on their loading screen said that it was going to count down to 6 p.m uk black fridays in years past have started early and they did end up starting the content early yesterday and that was confusing for a lot of people as well but these top tier cards sun mbappe marquinhos are very very rare i bought a sun for 800,000 coins he only has like two pages of supply on the entire market. Marquinhos is super duper rare. Modric, White, Werner, all these guys have been bouncing around in price, even with all the insane packs that we have in the store, right? I wanna show you guys the supply. Like we're gonna take a look at him and son. These guys are somehow so extremely rare on the market it's crazy right i search up chenman sun i go one page i go two page and then that's it it's literally two full pages with two extra cards he's eight hundred and fifty thousand coins so we bought one of those before the content drop yesterday and it ended up being a really good move i think he's going to end up rebounding back like i said that mbappe this might be the rarest card in the game right now only four listings on the entire market severely overpriced but i do i do believe that some people think these are live cards i do think that some people are confused in that way so just be very, very careful. Now, looking ahead a little bit onto some of these, there are some leaks that are out there. I don't know if this is an SBC or if this is a player that's gonna be in packs, but Sheriff did leak Busquets. Earlier in the day, yesterday, he leaked a Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane is not out right now. Maybe there's gonna be, um, I don't think this is a two-week promo. I think it's just a one-week promo. I'd have to double check that on the EA website. So I don't know if the mini release is gonna be a, a, a sizable amount of players, but we have this Busquets, Zielinski, Hinkapi, and Montiel, right? We already have Mateus Nunez and Ben White in the game. So these are some more of the cards that are upcoming uh, either soon or maybe with a team too, if, if that's gonna happen with this promo. So watch out for these Road to the World Cup cards. They seem very rare, but I mean, they're they're nice cards, right? Some very usable cards in here, some solid upgrades. Some of the upgrades are like not good at all. Like again, this Mbappe, is literally almost the same card as the inform he just got upgrades everywhere else except for pace so you know that's that's neither here nor there but i think a lot of the hype isn't necessarily with these cards a lot of the hype is with the content that is out in the game with the SBCs. The messy SBC is absolutely taking the game by storm. And if you don't agree with me, go take a look at some of these other PSG player prices. This is what we 100% expected to happen as the messy SBC was gonna be dropped um, yesterday. Again, the value of the, the messy, it's, it's kind of mid, right? It's kind of mid, but since it is messy and since it's a messy with pace, it's got people excited, right? Uh, Sergio Ramos yesterday went from like 315,000 coins. He just was about 340K. Now he's all of a sudden coming back down a little bit. He's back to 317. Uh, Gold Neymar was like 260, I believe. And Gold Neymar went back up to around 280. I wonder if there is some panic right now on the market as people are seeing this insane 100 uh, player pack. I honestly, I think, I think that's what it is. People are seeing this 100 player pack in the store and they're selling cards to go and do it. So that's not a very smart thing to do in my opinion. That's a huge gamble and a huge risk. And you're gonna end up losing coins on that, not gaining coins. Again, since all the players in that pack are untradeable. But the Messi SBC, we didn't see the five-star skills. He is still 4-4. He does have medium, medium work rates. Um, and it's, it's craftable, right? You get some tradable packs back it's going to be craftable and it's out for a craftable amount of time, right? It's out for a week, so you can kind of grind it. It's a flashback to his debut at the World Cup in 2006. So that's pretty cool. And it's a messy with pace, right? And that's and that's fun. If you look at the price, it is coming in at about 313,000 coins. And according to people on um, Footbin, it is a 40% upvoted, 60% downvoted SBC, which I agree, right? I think we really wanted to see five-star skills or the shooting get a little bit higher on this card, but it is what it is. If you want this kind of cool, messy, uh, then it's grindable. I think it's okay to go for it. I'm probably gonna end up getting it done because I absolutely love the messy card. But since the value in this SBC was not that amazing, the gold card's still in packs, so that's going down. Uh, I, actually, it's, it's weird to say that as of today, Black Friday or yesterday, Black Friday, this messy card is, it's fodder. Isn't that nuts to think about? 91s are around 60K. Messi is now considered fodder on this market, which is nuts. But since the SBC was just kind of okay and in the middle in terms of uh, hype, this Road to the Knockouts Messi exploded back in price from 1.1 mil 
up to 1.26 where he is right now. Now let's talk about some more cards that absolutely exploded yesterday with some of the prices that we saw moving up, right? Of course, SBC fodder has moved up a lot and we'll talk more about SBCs again here in a second. But if you take a look at Amori and all of these best of team of the week cards, yesterday in the morning, there was a combination of the early lightning rounds, right? They dropped lightning rounds early yesterday. I think it was like four hours before content when they put the team in packs, maybe even five hours, I think it was four or five. And there was supply and panic selling that combined for a huge market drop. These cards went from 250K all the way down to 202,000 coins, specifically this Tamori. And he went all the way back to 260. Now he's coming back down again, but that was the best place to make coins yesterday on a quick flip. And if you bought any of these cards, I know people in the stream were talking about buying Usman Dembele at 100,000 coins. Will these cards maintain their price rise, their bounce back? I don't think that they all will. I do believe that Cancelo, Teo Hernandez, Erling Holland, and, and some of these cards will not be able to maintain their price. And since they're still in packs for a, a number of days, they'll probably continue to drop off a little bit. But keep a close, close eye on those cards because uh, I, I think it was very interesting to see how much they bounced back yesterday and how much the, the, the cards that are in packs right now the uh, Road to the World Cup cards, they moved a little bit, but not super uh, insane amount. So guys, also what I would say with this market right now is as we have seen like the Tamorian, since this 100 player pack, the Centurion pack has been dropped, I do think that this market is, it's just in a place where so many coins have been drained off with the, the price of where SBC fodder is and so many coins are being taken off this game with how insane the content is. I would be very careful about holding tradable cards in your team unless it's for a quick flip. I know we say that all the time, but card prices are probably not going to go shooting up after this promo, at least not this weekend, right? It's going to take a little bit of time. And just like last week, if the content is not good, like we saw with PTGs, uh, people will people will go out and buy cards and, and they'll invest and, and prices will go up a bit. But if the content continues to be this good, um, I'm, I'm worried about most of the market, but least worried about PTGs and some of the new uh, World Cup cards because they're still the most hyped. But I'm still worried for the rest of the market because, again, people move on so quickly these days in FIFA because the content is so fast and updating so often that, you know, a lot of right wings were down big time because of this messy today. Um, and, and, you know, are they all going to bounce back fully to where their price was before? Probably not. Just because again, this content is so insane and ridiculous. And one of the things I want to talk, wanted to talk about heading into today is on Saturday, it's, it's not done. And, and I mean, as, as you're watching this video, right, there's probably more content that has been released, um, that you is not being shown to you right now in this video, right? We've got packs that are added to the code that are, Icon upgrade packs and hero packs, 86 plus base or um, base or FIFA World Cup hero player, and an 87 base or mid icon pack has been added to the code. So it's just like so many of these insane packs are in the game. Now, I would expect that to be an SBC, not something that's in the store, but it's just crazy to see where all the demand is right now, and that's for the SBC content, which of course has made SBC fodder go Bananas. If we take a look at fodder right now, 84s started the day yesterday at like 2.3, 2.5K. Now they are over 4,000 coins. So many 84 squad requirements, 83 squad requirements, and so many other SBCs that are like 86 to 87 rated that people just use a high rated player and then they go in and they buy some 84s to get it done. So your 85s are up a bit. 86s are really not moved that much, up 1,000 coins. 87s are kind of down, but then 88s, when the World Cup Hero Pack refreshed, these guys were actually 70 to 80k on the game. You can see it here. Some of the cards, like like Ter Stegen was actually selling almost at 70k. Even I think in the first 30 minutes after the content drop yesterday, all 88s were selling at that insane, insane price. I mean, I'm even looking at Benzema right now. 91 rated players are almost the same price as 88s. And how much sense does that make? Zero. 88s are 55k a piece. 89s are 51k a piece. But when people go into an SBC and they see like in the max 89 FIFA World Cup upgrade, they see that you need three 88 rated players. They go buy 88s. They don't go buy the 89s and the 90s and the 91s that are actually cheaper on the market. That's just kind of the way that people operate and they see those requirements. So that's why this page on Footbin, uh, I'll leave the link to this down below in the description if you don't know where to find it. 
um, it is one of the most helpful places to look at SBC fodder prices at any given time. Like I said yesterday on stream, I bought a couple Benzema's and I know a lot of you guys in the stream did as well. We bought Benzema's right here, like 53K. He spiked above 60. And again, with the lightning round supply and a lot of those packs being in the store, being open still, you have this price coming back down again. I would watch fodder as you get into the daytime, maybe early morning hours as this video is going live. See if fodder is super low again, especially on the high tier end, because that's where it has the most fluctuation in the demand at this point. And maybe even 84s. If somehow overnight we get like a big supply SBC and 84s like start to drop off, that would be something that I would keep an eye on and, and be interested in is trading with the fodder because that's where the demand is right now in this game. Now, if you guys bought teams yesterday as well, I mean, you probably got some good crap good prices, right? Because guys like Cristiano Ronaldo, guys like Virgil Van Dyke, anything that was in packs uh, just kind of went lower in price. And again, I really do think that this 100 coin pack is dropping the market a lot right now as people are going out um, and buying that pack with coins, uh, which again, I think is one of the most not smart things you can do with your account, but like look at Neymar. Neymar literally just a bit ago was 280K and now he is 250. So a combination of like sell off into the nighttime right now, uh, the, the market is dropping a very healthy amount. So I'm just be careful, like I said, again, with holding tradable cards in your team because I just don't think that it's gonna pan out well over the next couple of days. Um, unless you have some of these PTGs and even some of the PTG cards from yesterday didn't do that well. And I'm still holding some of my transfer list um, and I would just say, if I were you, you know, be careful with these cards and sell them before the game uh, that they are playing, right? Bruno Gimaresh is one that I think people are people might be selling this card right now to go open that big pack in the store. And, and also because uh, this guy is actually the lowest price that he has been by about 10K than what he was all of yesterday on Friday. He's 275,000 coins, low 270s, 266 for Bruno Gimaresh. Uh, and of course, you guys know how he was 400K earlier in the week. And these guys are still live and they're still getting upgrades. That's why I feel the most confident about this part of the market right now. Um, you know, just because these guys, especially for the ones that play today on Saturday, like Alejandro Gomez uh, was over 400,000 coins all day yesterday. Right now he is 396. He's kind of coming down. I still have some Kuti Romero. Um, guys, just keep a close eye on these cards because if there's anything that I would be wanting to trade with right now, if I was trying to flip cards, it would be these. It would be the World Cup, brand new World Cup cards, Road to the World Cup, uh, or it'd be the brand new icons that have been dropped in the game as well. And if, we, if we're going to talk about icons for a second, uh, I can show you guys a crazy fluctuation that just happened recently. This Emmanuel Petit, brand new icon um, world, 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 to, uh, world Cup icon. I almost said Road to the World Cup icon, but the World Cup icon Petit was about four hundred thousand coins earlier today, and all of a sudden he just got super duper rare and bounced up. These guys fluctuate a lot in price. Like if we take a look at his graph, you can see he started expensive, went down, 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 four hundred k, and then rebounded. And he's got sales. Like Footbin's gonna attract some of these sales. Five ninety, right? You can see. Even he got bought all the way up. He, he was down at 400K flat. You see some 395s in there. And then boom, started rising 600, 634, uh, 550. So huge opportunities to trade with these brand new icon cards on this game with a lot of the fluctuations that are going on there. So it's, it's just crazy, guys. And it, the market continues to move and the prices continue to move on these cards and they fluctuate a lot on the new ones, but also it's it's not going so well on some of the older ones. You did see some of the heroes that bounced back yesterday, like Diego Forlan was under 600K. Now he is 660. Okocha's up over 100,000 coins. Rudy Yaga Torre is up like 200K. Lucio is 1.3 mil. Kuhl bounced back. Brawlin bounced back. Smolarek is up. Marquisio is more expensive than he was. So you've seen the market bounce back in those rare areas. But again, guys, I would just be very careful because of everything that is going on in this game and all the coin drain that is happening. Um, I mean, Ramos literally was 340 just you know an hour ago. And right now, Ramos is back down into the 319s, 320. So I think that with this pack being in the store, it's, it's only been out for about 30 minutes as I'm recording this video. So that's why... Uh, and my Hyunmin son just sold, man. That is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted at all. I relisted that card on accident right after the World Cup game finished between USA and England. By the way, GG's. This Hyunmin son is going to probably go up somewhere around like 950 because look how rare this guy is, man. It's absolutely crazy how rare some of these cards are. But I'm going to look to trade and, and to flip with some of these now that I have some coins just because they are the fresh 
items, the brand new cards that are on the game. And since they are brand new, people want to trade with them. People want to try them out. And I mean, I still think there is weekend league demand. I know I talked about that in yesterday's video with people needing packs and needing fodder because of how much this content is draining clubs. I do think that foot champs will have some demand. And I think, um, that uh, people will be playing it this weekend. But of course, it's it's more for to get some packs and to get some sort of fodder back in their clubs uh, and, and not be broke because everything on this game right now is making us broke because the content is is insane and it's super duper good. Now, I'd be careful with the ones to watch is I know like that Renato Sanchez, again, I looked at his price like 15, 20 minutes ago and he was at like 800K after being 700 lows earlier today yesterday. Is he still up or is he down again? Yeah, he's kind of down again as well. So some of the cards, um, especially some of the new promo cards and icons might rise up today into Saturday a little bit. But again, guys, like the content right now is just draining this game and it's making the market go down, which is usually what happens is, which is why we said, stay away from the golds, stay away from the best of team of the week cards. That crazy spike they had yesterday was great for a quick flip, but I doubt those guys will rise too much into the future just with the way that the game is going. And then of course, the content that we have had in the past day has just been overwhelming to say the least. And the market's not going to rise too well when the market is or, or when the content is that overwhelming. So I would just say to you guys, um, watch out, watch out for the, maybe the PTG cards that played today. Watch out for the new cards that you can flip and just just try to stay semi liquid with the cards that you have or the coins that you have right now, because it's getting tough out here. And I know there's not too much else to say other than that. Um, it also have fun, right? Also have fun with the content that's being released, because if you're not having fun, then you know, what's the point? So I'm doing messy because I want to have fun with this, but it was an absolutely mental day yesterday on the market. If you sold fodder at all yesterday, if you waited to, to sell it until after everything happened, GG's. Um, but the timing yesterday was completely different to kind of what we thought was going to happen because EA's content yesterday blew us out of the water. So today's content on Saturday, like I mentioned, I wonder if that boost gets Road to the World Cup player item might be an SBC. We should see a few more flash SBCs today on Saturday. Usually Saturday is a bit slower and there's still a lot of store packs that we haven't seen yet. So some of those foundation packs, we might have more of those today. EA could um, re-release some of the other packs here that are in the store. I don't know, but like some of these are on longer timers, right? But you know, this Black Friday 100 pack might come back today on Saturday, might drop the market in some areas even more. We're just experiencing FIFA history right here in FIFA right now because it is absolutely mental. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.